Hello, today I'm going to show you how you can get end curses and GCC working on a Windows machine. So I'm just going to first show you that it does work. So, this is end curses. You can see uh, on Windows. Um, so, yeah, we got that working. Let's exit of that for now. So, to do this, you're going to need a program called Sigwin. It's an application that kind of makes a Unix, Linux, kind of Linux-like um, terminal emulator on Windows. So you just can Google Sigwin or Sigwin.com. Then you just hit install Sigwin. On 32-bit machines of Windows, you're going to want this download here. And on 64-bit versions of Windows, you're going to want this download here. So I'm on 64-bit, uh, so I'm just going to download this. It's got a pop up. Um, mine's already saved. You just save it. Once you have it, you'll have something that looks like this, depending on which version you installed there. So and then you just are going to open that. This is what we get. It's next, install from internet. Uh, I'd make this the uh, root directory. It should be the default. Just right on the, the root of your um, C drive or whatever your main drive is. Your local package directory doesn't matter too much. You might want to change it though from the downloads folder. Mine's in the downloads folder. I want to keep it there. Um, direct connection. That's the one you want. You're just going to want to select your mirror in here. I am using the CS Clubs one at the University of Waterloo because I know it's a fast one as I work there. Uh, I just get this pop-up saying one or more of the mirrors are detected as not being an official mirror. Um, I'm just going to continue on this. So I get a pop up here now. So this is basically like a, the package manager in Raspbian where you can just do sudo app get and install something like nano or gcc. So all I do is search for what I want. I want gcc. Um, it pops up if you expand these you can see it's got GCC and all these so what you want to do is just basically hit install mine says keep here as I already have it so it's actually not even going to install any of this for me because I have it but for you it will install, it will say install here instead as you can see you can change it as well so you're just going to want to do that um, and you're probably going to want nano um, so we got nano in here, just again, it's going to be install that, <clears throat> vam, install, um, we're also going to of course want end curses, um, so here's end curses in here, just install on that, again I already have this, you won't have it. Now you're going to want to hit next once you have everything that you want. This is just like a normal package manager, just like Linux, so just don't be afraid to search whatever packages you want and it should be here. So once you've done that, you're going to hit next. Um, a bunch of things will pop up. It'll look like a list like this, except a lot longer. Now this is a, a script errors, so this is after the install. So your screen is going to look kind of like what's in here but it's going to say a different message up here and you're just going to have a list of all the programs that it says it's going to download you're going to hit next it's going to start uh, downloading them all and then it's going to install them all and it's going to output any errors here just like it did here so this error here you can just ignore you may not even get this error because this is totally unrelated and you're probably actually going to want to also install SSH when you're in that other screen in case you want to SSH into anything you can choose what you want here. I'm just going to have them both off because I already have it installed. So. Okay. From here, you can just use your the Windows search function and you can run Sigwin or you can go to your the C drive where you installed it and you can actually go here and you can open Sigwin from here if you'd like. It's kind of up to you what you want to do. However, I already have a shortcut created. So, let's make this a little bigger. 
this is just a customized uh, color so I have a customized color in here uh, for looks it's just set to the Ubuntu uh, standard terminal color so and also the options I have here are all customized so don't worry about that yours will look a little different but still will work the same so to actually get to your C drive or whatever drive you're using you're gonna use um, SIG drive this is how you access the files on your drive you can see I have three drives here you might only have one or two I don't know how many drives you have but I'm going to go to C drive I'm going to want to navigate to my Dropbox folder so that's going to be users my name and then I'm going to want Dropbox because this is where Dropbox is stored projects folder and then in here I'm just going to go to the file editor oh first I gotta to here Uh, the file editor is just uh, the project that we are working on in our Friday classes. So you can all just get that if you just take this URL here, open SigWin, you know, get Cologne, and put that in. Uh, the key to the paste is Shift and the Insert key at the same time. And that will Based. If you right click it, actually says it here, and control insert is to copy. So if I select this, control insert, I didn't I don't want to clone that, so <laughs> just gonna control C on that, cancel. So you can see we have the files here, uh, just like you'd see in here. So all you're gonna want to do is you are going to like once you have this it's here, actually, well first look at the make file. So the make file it's got an, uh, all a run and a clean in here. So all run, run and a clean. The all is just going to run when you do a make. Um, so that's going to compile it. When you do make space run, it's going to execute this, which is going to run the output file. And then when you do a make space clean, it's just going to remove that. So let's do a make then, so we can build this. So as you can see, it's built. Uh, no errors or anything. Despite being on Windows, it still works fine. Um, if we just take a look in the bin folder, you'll see it's created there. Um, it's created as output.exe. Just because this is Windows, don't worry about that. It'll still run fine. Now, we will make clean, you can see that it'll be gone now. Actually the way the way it's set up it's only removing the the non-Windows one. And if we do this and make again, we check the folder and there it is again. So now what we're gonna want to do to run this is I you, to make run I don't think it'll work. Oh okay it does work for the EXE still. So yeah. You can see it, it opens, uh, not a problem, everything works just fine. Uh, as you can see, we got some backspace issues going on there. But we're going to fix that in the, the code eventually, I'm assuming in class. Uh, but semicolon exits here. <coughs> so, that covers how you can install NCurses and GCC so you can compile things using NCurses or just GCC in general and that's about all for this tutorial in the next tutorial I'll cover how we can actually use uh, GitHub to clone, make a change, uh, use the fork and actually submit to here so that you can get your things on the in the code. As you can see here, I actually have a pull request currently open that I made. So you'll be able to do the same thing. Um, it's not that hard. So I'll, I'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.